Okay, so what's this? This is a multi-touch uh, tabletop system. Uh, how does it work? Okay, it's quite simple. Along here, along the edges here, we have 460 infrared LEDs shining out infrared light into the acrylic sheet that supports uh, uh, this acrylic sheet. Now what happens is the uh, uh, infrared light shines along the transparent acrylic sheet and when it reaches the air, the air at shallow angle it will then reflect back using total internal reflection. Same technology behind a fiber optic cable. However, what makes it interesting is if I put my finger on it here then what happens is the uh, uh, finger interrupts that process and suddenly the light escapes and what it looks like is that my finger starts to glow in infrared light. Now under here we have um, uh, a projector and along with it we actually have an, inf uh, an infrared camera and it's got a natural light filter on it. So what it does is it filters out all the light coming from the projector and all it can see is the infrared light being emitted by my fingers. So what that allows me, uh, what you have then is a piece of software that looks at those images and actually feeds those off to another piece of software. In this case, a planetary simulation. So what I can do is I can put my finger on, I can send a planet off orbiting a sun here. So what kind of use is te this technology? Well, firstly, you can actually have what's known as bimanual interaction. You can actually use two fingers to interact with something. So you can imagine, say, drawing a line with two fingers. Um, the other thing that's actually quite groovy is it allows you to actually have lots of people, a group of people, working simultaneously. And so you can imagine the, a group of people all using my fingers like this. So that's a group of people. It's 10 people using that uh, at the same time. And obviously the design of this table is to actually allow very large groups of people to interact at the same time. More importantly, we can engage in our research uh, interest, which is pervasive and ubiquitous computing. Uh, in our case, we're actually uh, interested in what's known as shareable technologies. So these are technologies where uh, a group of people can actually uh, be co-present. What use is a, um, a multi-touch technology like this? Uh, someone said, is this a business technology or is this a, um, uh, an education technology? And I said, it's like looking at a mouse. Is a mouse a business technology or is a mouse an educational technology? It's both because of how you actually use that to create the next level of software. Now the PC revolution was a fantastic revolution. It really improved, uh, um, it really changed the way we work. If you started a, 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 a white collar job these days and you didn't have a PC on your desk, it would be quite strange. But things like Word, Excel, uh, all these bits of software have really encouraged, the, uh, enabled the individual to actually achieve so much more than they have before. The internet comes along and it allows groups of people to actually collaborate remotely. However, if you're working in an organization, uh, it, although you know, the way you work now is completely different from the way you did, say, 30 years ago, if you walk into a meeting, you suddenly go back and really has the technology quite, uh, quite changed. Not that much. So what we're interested in is how we can actually develop user interfaces that allow people to develop applications on top of those user interfaces that allow and encourage groups of people to interact and collaborate together. So that's what we're doing here, and that's what we're researching in. Thanks.